All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Frag Punk closed beta is just a few days away from ending, and I have been fortunate enough to be able to play it for nearly the entire time it's been available. Now, I don't normally make videos about games in terms of reviews and impressions, but I think this game is definitely worth your time. Now before I dive into Frag Punk specifically, I want to apologize because I did not realize until I watched my last video back, which I don't do often after they are published to YouTube and I probably should, that the music in the background was basically not hearable at all. In my headphones, it sounds perfectly fine. It matches the level of my voice without issue, uh, but when I listen to it on my phone and on the television, I couldn't hear the music at all, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, it was not my intention to just have me rambling over a video playing in the background in the complete dead silence. I'll try to make sure uh, that that doesn't happen again. Anyway, jumping in to Frag Punk. Now, I'm going to be speaking about this game based on my experience. I'm not going to go into a technical breakdown of everything that the game has to offer, the studio, etc, etc. However, if you are not aware of Frag Punk, it is described as a fast-paced 5v5 hero shooter that features features power up cards that bend the rules of combat. That is exactly what the game is. Now, normally, as in the case with Spectre Divide, I would have made a comparison to a game like this directly to something like Valorant. 5v5s these days release, and they're all pretty similar. However, Frag Punk, I've actually had a lot of fun with, for one, because I don't completely suck ass at it like I do Valorant, but two, because it really isn't quite like those games. Now, there are a few reasons to me why this game kind of stands apart, and the first and most obvious is that you're using these power-up cards at the beginning of every match to dictate certain things that will play out in the game. Now, these cards are essentially power-up for your entire team. Some of them do apply to specific weapons like shotguns or rocket launchers, and some of them apply to specific characters. But for the most part, the cards apply to the entire match for your team specifically. A few examples of this are increased uh, shotgun damage, uh, increased headshot multiplier, you regenerate HP slowly over time, etc, etc. There are 111 cards in the game so far, and it's in closed beta. I do not know if they plan to add any more, but there are already a ton. So the dynamics of the game go beyond your typical Valorant, Counter-Strike, Siege style 5v5 shooter, and it's also not quite the same universe as an Overwatch-esque style gameplay. It really does kind of have like a, a mind, body, and soul of its own. It's a very unique game, and I'm, I've actually had a lot of fun playing it. I'm really glad that I got my hands on a beta key, and if you did not manage to get your hands on one, then no worries. Uh, I'm sure the game will be out uh, sooner rather than later. It feels really good. It runs really well. Everything seems really well optimized. I didn't. Ha I have not had any issues out of the game really at all. So I can't imagine that uh, the release date would be pushed back too too far after this beta closes. But moving on. <clears throat> I would say the second reason that it sort of stands apart from those other 5v5 hero type shooters is the gunplay. Most comparably, I would compare this to something like Overwatch's gunplay, but it almost feels more like a Battlefield-y, Call of Duty, The Finals-esque mix of gunplay. The gunplay feels really solid. The guns feel good and they look good. They sound good. The optics, the sights that they give you on the guns look good, they feel good to use. Everything is very responsive, so the gameplay centered around the guns specifically in your character's hands, all of it feels really good. And This is something that I noticed kind of right out of the gate when I originally watched the trailer is that it's this really colorful, sort of bright, hyper-saturated, sort of fantasy-esque hero shooter, but then you have like this really solid, tight gunplay. So I really, really enjoy that about the game. There are a few things that I think could be tweaked as far as the guns are concerned, but overall, solid gunplay. Being that it is a hero shooter, there are a variety 
variety of heroes to choose from depending on how you want to play, what your play style is. There are plenty of support characters, recon characters, there's a couple of assault characters. I myself have primarily been using Broker and Jaguar. His electric tra uh, traps are really good defensively. They do a lot of damage. I, I will say, however, that some of the defensive items, especially the Sandstorm chick, I can't remember her name right off the top of my head. It's basically like a Horizon ult where this uh, stationary sort of sandstorm on the ground just sucks you into it. That is way too strong currently. I mean, you want to talk about literally not being able to move at all. You walk into that thing and, and you're screwed. Uh, but Broker, he's got like a, you know, a rocket launcher. You have to be pretty accurate with it though. I can't tell you how many times I've shot a rocket and then just go right by someone's head and do no damage at all. Uh, but he does have a smoke essentially that he can throw out as well as a uh, cluster sort of mine grid array that just sort of scatters bombs across the ground. Uh, good for cutting off, you know, uh, paths, ways in and out of a site, things like that. So him and Jaguar are who I have been personally cycling through, but there are, I believe, roughly 12, maybe 15, uh, what they call Lancers. So depending on how you like to play, there's bound to be a Lancer in there for you. I would imagine though, that this being like many other sort of hero shooters, you'll probably end up cycling between one, two, or three at most that fit your play style the best. The beta actually did release with a variety of maps to play, and the main game mode is gonna be this shard card game mode. Uh, there are a few arcade game modes like scrimmage and training and free for all team deathmatch, but the main sort of ranked unranked game mode that you, you've probably seen and that most people are probably playing is this shard card game mode. Uh, there, there aren't any others in the in the closed beta right now, but that's okay. Uh, they've offered plenty. There, there's a lot of content to this game. It, it actually uh, does go pretty far and wide, even for a closed beta, which is great. And I think there were roughly six or seven maps even. I'd have to, you know, open the game up to check to make sure, but it's obvious when you're playing some of the maps that they are very, very, very clearly designed to be either defensive or offensive maps. So if I had any gripe about the game, more specifically the maps overall, it's that some of them are so unbelievably easy to win on defense compared to offense and then vice versa. So hopefully that's feedback that they're going to get and to receive. I hope I'm not the only one with that opinion. I've had several matches in the game on specific maps where as soon as the switch sides uh, happened, the, the tide of the game completely changes no matter which team it is because the map is just obviously designed to be a defensive or an offensive map. So I think there probably could be some tweaks made uh, to, to sight lines and to paths, cutting off paths, changing how many angles you have to go around or that you can hold. Uh, again, that's just little nitpicky stuff, but overall, uh, the maps are, are really fun. They, they flow well for the most part uh, everything looks good runs good like I said before and for a closed beta they, they've actually included uh, quite a bit of content Frackpunk also does already support the use of a controller and it is going to be fully cross play that is confirmed it's going to be cross platform on PC Xbox Nintendo and PlayStation so uh, you know I don't know how they'll balance it if they'll do you know something similar to Valorant where there's tweaking of the way that the lobbies work and who you who you cross play with the gameplay though as far as it not being this kind of like one shot one kill type thing makes me feel a little bit more comfortable about that I, I don't think it's going to become too too big of an issue having controller players play in the same lobbies as PC players but again that all comes down to aim assist and balancing uh, but the game is going to be fully cross play so anyway guys I've kind of rambled on about this game and you know that, that's just kind of how I like to do my videos I like to speak from the experience Experience. It's it's a little bit more difficult for me sometimes to sit down and, and follow, you know, like a script bullet point by bullet point. If I'm really trying to go into like a 
really detailed essay about something specific, I'll do that. But when it comes to something that I just enjoy or have a thought or a feeling about, I, I kind of like to just talk about it, you know? So I, ho I hope the overview here of Fragpunk has given you a good idea and vision of what the game is. Uh, the full release date for Fragpunk has not been released, uh, so we don't know exactly when it's coming out. I would imagine though that being in the state that it is, which is, I mean, really rock solid in my opinion, it can't be that long after the beta shuts down that this game becomes uh, accessible to everyone, uh, you know, full release, purchase it, play it. I highly recommend the game. The game is going to be live for another two or three days, I believe. I don't know if they've shut down beta codes, but if you can get one, I highly recommend you jump into it. The gunplay is great. The guns themselves are really nice for a hero shooter. To me, they're not cornball-y, goofy-ass guns. Uh, they feel good, they shoot good, they sound good. The player mechanics are nice. The upgrades that the game offers through this card system are as far as they are wide and work well. They're really cool. It doesn't seem like anything, at least right now, is just sort of blowing the gates open on balance and fairness when it comes to uh, the heroes and the cards, etc. Everything seems to flow pretty well. Again, the only kind of gripe that I have is that some of the maps seem to obviously favor either being on offense or defense, and it's very apparent when you switch sides. Uh, and if you've played the game or if you get your hands on the game, you'll probably start to pick up what I'm talking about there. But overall, a super solid game, a game that I was really happy to be able to play that I've had really a great time playing. Uh, it's being published and developed by Bad Guitar Studios. Uh, I don't normally make gameplay review and impressions videos. Uh, for one, because the channel just doesn't really seem to uh, perform very well when I support when I uh, publish those types of videos. The longer form essays seem to do a lot better. But this game, it just it was worth it to me. I recommend this game for a game that's in beta. Uh, you know, or I don't know if it ever came out in alpha, but it came out in beta. Uh, it's rock solid, man. And if you're able to get your hands on it, I think it's a lot of fun. I could see myself really getting into this game on release. It would be cool to have a team to play with at some point uh, and it's nice too that I don't suck at the game you know that's another big part of it, uh, is that I just don't suck ass at it like I do Valorant ladies and gentlemen though thank you for sticking around to the end as usual I never know if you guys and gals make it all the way to the end but I really do appreciate it if you do we are live every single day this October before we go back to our normal streaming schedule we are so unbelievably close to hitting that affiliate milestone on Twitch it's crazy we're sitting at 2.73 of three average viewers we're so close thank you guys for being here subscribe to the channel like the video follow me on Twitch Join the community, the Scrim Squad, baby. These are the types of things we like to talk about. We're just trying to have a good time, have discussions about what's going on in our worlds, in the gaming industry, what we're looking forward to, what we're having fun with, what we would like to see changed. And I just felt like Frag Punk was checking all the boxes and deserved a little bit of recognition uh, here on the channel. So be on the lookout for Frag Punk if you can get your hands on it. Try it out before the beta is over. Otherwise, put it on your to get list and pick up a copy when it fully releases on Steam. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you online.